crafters, uh, DM Scotty here. Welcome to the DM's Craft. Uh, today we're going to do a, uh, a special door. And uh, this door was built using the same uh, techniques from my door video. It's just out of cardboard. Uh, I did it like a cathedral door, but I added a, a really cool design uh, to the front of the door. So uh, it was super easy and cheap. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how I did that. So to start, I want to show you these uh, these little skull rings I got. I got these last Halloween at the dollar store. And uh, also, you know, say you can save containers that you're going to throw away that you had food in. Just wash them out. These containers make great um, storage for anything, uh, you know, that you were going to store for your crafts. Uh, this kind of stuff. This was just a uh, little uh, cheese container that I had made out of glass. And so I used it to store these rings. But anyways... I got a couple packs of these rings at the dollar store. The dollar store is a great place to go on Halloween. Go and just buy a bunch of stuff, and they're so cheap. It's all just a dollar each. So, collect. I just collect the stuff for the t time when I'll need it. So, basically, these are skull rings, and I'm going to use these for our part of our door project. So, uh, unfortunately, they have this little thing on the back. So, I'll just take care of that pretty easily. I'll just grab a pair of scissors. And then just snip those off. And if there's any excess, you can snip it off to your parts content. All right. So now I end up with a little skull, which is nice. And I'm going to use that to apply that to our door. So uh, now we'll, uh, we'll bring the doors out and go ahead and do that. Here are my uh, stone doors I made. So these are from AJ's Crypt, and these will be to the final room. So uh, I did them the same way I did the dungeon. I used the black uh, spray texture, and I did a little bit of gray around the edge to give it some definition. So you can see those uh, stone doors there. Now I want to add the skulls to uh, the front. So I've taken the skull, and I've painted it base black uh, with flat, bla flat black spray paint. So now I will just grab my glue gun my handy glue gun and I'll put some glue on the back of that generous amount and get it on there all right so now I'm going to do the same with the second door and then we're going to come back for some details so those are looking good but I really want to get give them kind of an eldritch look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and add some wisps coming off the skulls. And it's hard to see in the camera because this is clear, but I'm going to paint these so they'll really pop out. So you might be able to see that a little bit. Twist it. Okay. Now I'll do the same to the other one, and we'll come back for some painting. Okay, now remember when you're working with this kind of detail, you will get a little bit of, uh, they're hard to see, but you'll get a little bit of wisps on your um, work sometimes. So just wipe the, the, those are pretty easy to wipe off or just rub off. If you can't get them off, you can always use, a, you can always use tweezers to do that too. So just a little tip. A little side tip about uh, getting wisps on your uh, projects. And this happens with just about anything you use glue gun, uh, glue gun with. So uh, just keep that in mind for all you uh, new people uh, doing this kind of stuff. All right, I've got us in here for a pretty close look now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this that same kind of green that I used uh, when I did the runes on AJ's Crypt. So what I use is this, uh, it's actually a lime sorbet um, acrylic craft paint. And so I've got a fairly thin brush. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint those tendrils that are kind of coming off the uh, skull there. Now just take your time with this. So it gives some dimensionality to that 
uh, design. Um, also, uh, we'll paint the skull the same way. So, you know, start um, painting the skull. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish this up and come back and give you a look at it. So here we go, look at that. That actually just went from a pretty cool stone door to just like a super kick-ass uh, looking door. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of uh, spray gloss on the green. Um, and then I'm going to, which I won't show, I'll just do that. And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the cardstock on the bottom like I do for all my doors. And then I'll show it on the tile you can see what it looks like. I am actually going to do a little bit more with this, and I'm going to add a little bit of shading. Um, I'm going to use a um, a uh, metallic sequin black. Uh, so I have it on my palette, it's just uh, acrylic craft paint. And I'm going to paint the um, eye sockets with it. in the nose socket. I'm also going to do a little bit of shading, so I'm going to wet down the black. And kind of do... follow that line of the mold there. And kind of these here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the teeth, the, bit, the dividers between the teeth, so. All right. So I like it. So now it is ready, and I will put that, I'll just spray some gloss on it, a little bit of gloss. Um, with a spray can and then we'll come back and uh, show you like I said. So here are our double doors and uh, I've got the base on there. I just did a, th a three-quarter inch uh, piece of cardstock and put it on the bottom. Now uh, you can see that a little bit of gloss on there. I just sprayed it a touch and uh, just easier than uh, putting, I didn't really want a too thick of a gloss on there so I used the spray. Uh, now you can use any spray. I just use a Krylon um, satin clear spray. Just a touch and uh, you can use that for other objects, but uh, it's good for like just giving a slight gloss to something. If you if you really want to have the gloss, I would do the I would do the water base if you really want it to be wet looking. But I just kind of wanted a touch and, a, and some protection uh, for the the tendrils and everything on the door. So now I'm going to go to the tile and show you what it looks like. So here are the doors on our tile and they really fit in, um, I think look great with the rest of the, uh, the, the style of the tile, so uh, there we go. And uh, when the players enter the room they can open the doors, so when the players get the doors open they can swing them this way, uh, and you can see that the, uh, the bases really match into the tile itself so you really can't see the bases very well, they, they, they blend pretty well into that, so and the players can enter the, uh, the last chamber. So. Looking good, and uh, we'll have some more crafts uh, with this uh, for the uh, crypt in uh, further episodes. Hey crafters, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DM's Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe, and I have tons of other videos as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft! <laughs>